Good day, viewers. Uh, we welcome you with Jesus' joy into another edition of Moments with Sarah's. With myself, Sarah's Praise, and I have my co host right here, AGY of AGY Events Management. <laughs> Thank you. So it's the seventh edition of Moments with Seraph. And by the Holy Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, we have the mandate to bring people to the revelation of Christ through the undiluted word of God. And our mission is through revelation of the Holy Spirit, bring seasoned Calvary birthed men of God in Seraph to equip the saints, to equip all of us. Um, I do not take it with levity, um, the grace of sustenance and the grace bestowed onto us, um, this team, Sarah Sprays, um, to, to do this. This is the seventh edition. And um, by the Holy Spirit, um, also being sensitive to what God is doing, we were able to um, coin the Lord inspired us um, to bring in that topic. Today we'll be dealing with Mantu transference. Mm -hmm. um, there was a season, I think last year or so, we started recording a lot of mighty men in, in the fall, just falling, just mm -hmm. dying. And um, we were, one of my brothers said to me, be, um, be ready, be sensitive to what God is doing this season. That when people are passing like that, definitely God is raising some people and he will equip some people. And there ought to be some transference of this mantle that it will not just die. The, the visions, the, 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 the power, the way the Lord worked with our father will not just go away. That definitely people who are sensitive and, and ready for what the spirit is doing, there will be mantle transference. And so this is how... Um, we we prayed, yeah. <laughs> and I contacted my management here, AGY. Uh, she was a bit like, she came back to me, she was, sis, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> this topic is huge. Very, very. <laughs> um, so um, we have seasoned men of God. I don't take it for granted. God has really helped us. Mm -hmm. um, the men that God has brought our way, it is um, by grace, um, that I'm able per personally able to stand in rooms with some certain men of God <laughs> that I've watched like from far, watched on my screen or on WhatsApp or I've just seen them minister. And I am so grateful to God, so humbled um, to have this man of God. I will hand over to my co-host who <laughs> would introduce properly <laughs> this man of God because they are honorable men of God who tarry in the presence of God, who are birthed by the spirit of God. And, and I want them to be honored properly. Over to you, sister. All right, thank you, Syriac <laughs> Praise once again. So welcome once again, everybody, to tonight's edition. Like Seraph Spray's um, rightly said, we have men of God um, that we are humbled to be with in the house um, this evening. And they would be doing justice to this topic by the leading of the Holy Ghost. Um, however, the worship minister who just left um, not quite long, who led us into, um, you know, the presence of of God is by the name Minstrel Adebo Uluwatoyo. See, we appreciate you, sir. Thank you for always honoring our invitation. Yes. Thank you for coming. And may the Spirit of the Lord never depart from you. Amen. 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 Okay, so to my far left here, we have our gentle as a dove pastor. <laughs> <laughs> he's obviously very gentle and calm. Okay, so he's by the name um, Oluwa Sheye Adeyemi, who is an ardent lover of God yes. and his word with the drive to see the manifestation of the glory of God in all spheres and stratas of life. Hmm. He's a graduate of Lagos State University from the Department of 
Business Administration. While on campus, he was privileged to handle leadership responsibilities within the span of four years. And during NYSC, um, he also served as the chaplain in a boarding house, balancing ministry with teaching. Presently, he has the golden privilege to be the crown, that is the set man, of Judah clan with the mandate to raise yeah. scepter holders, which is presently sailing valiantly towards the fulfillment of the father's um, course. Mm -hmm. Please welcome with us um, this evening um, our Honorable Pastor Uluwasheye Adeyemi. You're welcome, sir. Oh, thank you very much. We are honored to have you on the show. Yes, ma How do you feel being here, sir? I feel excited, ma. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Yes, God bless you. We are most blessed to have you, sir. Yeah. So, so honored to yes, have ma. you. Thank, thank you, you. Ma. Thank you yeah. so much, ma. You're welcome, sir. Yeah. Um, also, to my near left here, we have our daddy, our uncle, our friend, our brother. He's our everything. If you see the way he is always around with youths, you would not even know he's our daddy because, you know, he's it, always... It blends right it, in. Exactly. <laughs> it blends right in. <laughs> he is right, Reverend Prophet Tolu Ayo Shashiu. Is it Shashio or Shashio? Sha yeah. Okay, I got that. All right. Shashio um, yeah. is, is a born seraph and the first president of the Yabatek Campus Fellowship Church. He um, is the current rector and chairman of Regency of the Light of Truth Evangelical College and Theological Seminary. Lotte Katz. Yeah, is that right, sir? Okay. And the presiding bishop of the worldwide Church of God in Christ. That's WCGC. Prophet Tolu Ayo Shashion holds two bachelor degrees in both orthopedics and medical sciences. He holds a master's of business administration, MBA, and earned doctorate in divinity, DD, theology, THMD, and ministry. As a researcher, right Reverend Shashion has, has over 60 theological publications and about 10 management books to his credit. He helps to expand the vision of churches and congregations to see beyond their own walls and become a better force for God through the influence of Lutikat's Lutikat Leadership Academy and the Lutikat Consult. He has trained more than 350 ministers and about 70 individual priestly men and women. Prophet Tolu Ayo Shashio um, is a lover of God's word. He is known as one of the strongest eschatological pulpits and internet voices in the recent time and countless souls had been reached through his ministry. The Imesile born prophet, revivalist and writer is unapologetically conservative concerning the standard of the word of God. Noted for his firm and unwavering stance in defense of the infallibility of the Holy Writ, he makes himself available only to the gathering where he can preach righteousness and holy living. Daddy, you're yes. welcome, God sir. Bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. It's a great honor to have you here I'm today, so sir. I'm so honored as well to have you <laughs> <laughs> be here. Yes, Daddy. I'm blessed. Thank you, Daddy. We know it's a, you're a very busy person. Uh, you have a lot like of that. students, oh, wow. but you made out time wow. yeah. to so come all the way from Ogun State. We thank God for that. You're welcome, oh, thank Daddy. Oh, Daddy, we are oh. so grateful. The God of enablement mm. will always enable us. Amen. Amen. Like she said, I make myself available Thank for wherever I can preach holiness Thank you, Jesus. and righteous living. Thank you. So Thank God will continue to believe Thank in any you. of us. Amen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Daddy. Amen. Just as Romans 9, 16 says, So then it is not of him that will it, mm -hmm. nor of him that run it, but of God who shows mercy. Mm -hmm. Like the kind of grace and mercy to be in the room with this man of God. I am so grateful, so... um. 
in adoration, admiration of God, uh, how God mm. has dealt and is dealing with us, how God is bringing to light and 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 show and teaching us daily in this fold in Sarah's praises team mm. for helping this vision come alive. The the last time I think we have men of God like Pastor Shegu Michael, Michael, Pastor Cherub, they've been here, mm. uh, Prophetess Aroja. Aroja. We are just so blessed. Um, this little girl, look at my brother. To tell you, I, I, I feel like it's going to be the, the sound of this brand. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. it just aligns. And I'm like, you know what? He doesn't need to be changed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't need another mystery because yeah. he just aligns in mm -hmm. the spirit. Yeah. I, I really bless God and celebrate you. Mm -hmm. uh, may the Lord honor you mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you so much. I'm looking forward. The Bible says the husband man is the first partaker yeah, of the fruit. Awesome. I pray that I will not go back the same Amen. in the name of Jesus. Name of I pray Jesus. that I will not just be a signpost for people <laughs> but I would actually be and we will all be Amen. in the presence in the and, and God will yes. recognize us. Heaven we know us Amen. by name Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much again and you're most Thank welcome. God. Thank God for everything good. Ah, yeah. Glory. So Hallelujah. on to today's the Sophie. seventh edition we have, we know that seven is a perfect number. Wow, that just occurred to me. It's significant, significant right? Yeah. Very significant. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, if we all know, uh, I lost my dad recently. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in Nigeria here mm -hmm. for the funeral of my father yes. is Grace, the late S.A. Abidoye. Abidoye yes. And I am humbled. Um, I know God makes no mistake. Yeah. Um, for me to be a seed of this man, there has to be something. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> there has to be exactly. something. Exactly. And I also happen to be one of the only ones in Seraph. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. out of his eight children. Yes. Um, so, I am humbled. I am grateful. But, um, again, we must be sensitive to what God is doing mm -hmm. and what we'll do. Okay. Um, so today we have the topic, mantle transference. transference. What, what does that even mean? What mm. is mantle transference? Mm. Um, the transfer of anointing maybe from one generation to another? Mm. I don't know. I will leave it. To, today we're going to hear from, from this mighty man yeah, of God. Yeah. Because I want to be poured into, I want to be filled, like overflowed. Mm -hmm by the time that I leave this place. Yeah. So over to you, Daddy, sir. Mantle transference. And I know when we talk about mantle transference, the main case study that comes yeah. is Elijah, Elijah. and yeah. Elijah. And Elijah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I'm sure there are many other case studies mm -hmm. in the Bible. Today, we will be reviewing, yeah. by the grace of God, God will show us the way, the mm -hmm. direction, yeah. and we'll be impacted and blessed today in Jesus' name. Amen. So over to you. Sir. Hallelujah, glory. Hallelujah. We thank God for a day like this. Mm. And we always give glory to God for his enablement. Mm. So many people had come and gone, even with their knowledge, mm. even mm. with their wisdom, yes. even with everything they have. Yes. They had come and gone. Like my father will usually say, if you have the opportunity of transference mm. of your wisdom to somebody, if you have the opportunity of transferring or impacting knowledge in somebody, just praise God for them. Mm. So we are thanking God uh like in the movement I belong to in CNS movement church, I I was telling somebody of recent that I thank God for Pastor's Council, mm. which came very, very uh, recent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm still hoping that someday we have teachers council. Mm -hmm. I think yes, we now have we it. We have it. Sir. It's still very new too. Uh -huh. Baba yes. also signed that. Um, Hallelujah. That Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think I will leave. Okay. <laughs> Don't let me blow that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I belong to Teachers Council. Oh, wow. I, because I usually look at the the teaching in mm. CNS. The teaching ministry is the one that is lacking most. And that is the one that we usually know our, our founding father to actually be in. Mm -hmm. When we say in CNS, 
what we are supposed to have and to value most is our teaching ministry. Because I'm sorry, I'm coming to man to transference. Yes, sir. But one thing is, when we get to CNS fold, we never have a song saying Mose Odi Mola Deni Apostoli Wa. We never say Mose Odi Mola Deni Woli Wa. And we call it, we, we, we usually say Mose Odi Mola Deni Olu Uko Wa. And we, we go back to say Ikwileti Jesu Filele. Ni Baba Aladurato. Which Ikwileti Jesu Filele? There is the only one place that Jesus Christ was referred to as prophet. Only one place. Mm. But in most cases, he, he is always referred to as rabbi mm. or rabboni, which, means, which is either teacher, teacher or trainer. Mm. So, glory to God Hallelujah. for a program like this that will be teaching us what is actually going on mm. with and within us. Now, the, the, the issue of Mantu, let's take it, let's not take it from Elijah. Mm. Let's take it from what is what actually is mantu. Mm -hmm. What actually is mantu? Simla in Hebrew language. Simla. 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 Uh, if I uh, sorry, you, you you already said that I'm a professor of theology, <laughs> 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 so don't don't be baffled when I start <laughs> speaking all, all right, those things. I will limit it. I will I will definitely bring it low. Right, but sir. I have to mention that Simla S I M dot L I H stroke. Mm. That is mantu. The meaning is outer garment that is worn by the majority. Mm. The outer garment that is the 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 garment of power. Mm. The garment of power. You know you, you can if you see a priest if you, if you say a priest, if you go to study dresses, if you go to study dresses in the Bible, you know that there are so many things. I was, I was addressing an issue of, of recent. Some, somebody was asking me, why are people not using Gadu? And they will come up and minister in CNS. Why? And I won't deceive you. I've seen a lot of even church leaders that will not use Gadu. That will come up and minister in CNS. It is actually wrong. Because I now, asked, I now answered that it is because of our in-orientation. We are not well-oriented. We are not... Even the moment you are entering the CNS, no matter whatever level, become a brother in CNS, you have a Gadu. You have a gadu. The moment you have a garment, I was telling them, I don't believe CNS wears uh, 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 sutana. No, we don't wear sutana. Mm -hmm. We wear prayer garment. Mm -hmm. Ashua Dura. And it must be accompanied by a gadu by your side. So the dressing, where am I going? The dressing, the outer garment that is worn by powerful people like apostles, senior apostles, most senior apostles in, in the movement. Sorry, I, uh, 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 it is where I belong. I can <laughs> always refer to. Mm. <laughs> in our own setting, if you are going to minister in my district and you are not properly dressed, you will not minister. Mm. You cannot be an apostle and come just like this. And say you want to, to come and minister. Where is your Ileke? Mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the elders will ask you. Yes, they will, they will ask. Where <laughs> is your Ileke? <laughs> so it, th th that Ileke sort of is what mm. we call mantra. Mm. If you are a special apostle, mm. you have Alukimba. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the thick one. <laughs> yes, it is the Alukimba now. That is called mantu. Mm. But like you rightly said, it became another thing. Actually, in First Kings, in, in, in First Kings 1919, you will you, you, you see the use of the mantu. When Elijah was going, when Elijah was going, he threw his mantle upon Elijah. 
What does that mean? What does it mean? Come, follow me. Like Jesus Christ told Peter, follow me, I will make you fishers of men. But Elijah did not even talk. Because there is always the, the, the element of power in him had been transferred. Not the, the transference of, a, of, of man to did not happen immediately in 2 Kings. It happened in 1 Kings 1919. That was where the uh, the thing started. Elijah threw the mantle, his mantle, upon Elisha. And immediately, Elisha left whatever he was doing and followed Elijah. And followed him to the end because he had been empowered. He had been empowered. It's not a matter of, 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 of uh, 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 am I to follow or not? No. It is a command to follow him. And it now got him to the end of Elijah's life. He requested for something. Fine. I want double portion of, of your anointing. Fine. But fortunately enough, Elijah now gave him a condition. If you are with me to the end. Some people will say, eh, if you see me when they are... No. The meaning of that word, if you are with me to the end, you will see that Elijah, that you are using as a case study, and Elisha, there are so many reasons for Elisha to have gone back from Elijah. So many reasons. So many of his colleagues in the school of prophets had already co confused, some confused him, some discouraged him. Tomorrow, they are going to take your master. He said, yes, I know. So many of his colleagues in the school of prophets had already confused him. They have discouraged him, but he remained steadfast. And that was why he was able to get that mantle. If you look at that word very well, in 2 Kings 2 now, if you, if, if you look at that end of Maybe verse number 13, 14. The Bible actually told us that when Elijah was lifted, we did not see where Elisha held the mantle or tore the mantle. But the Bible told us that the mantle fell on him. So definitely there is that place is when we talk about transference mm. of mantle. Mm. Right. You see that in that for, for something, you see the usage of the mantle. In verse number 8 of 2 Kings 2, while Elijah was about crossing the Jordan, he used his mantle. Yeah. He used his mantle. But he did not say anything. He just struck the the, the, the sea with his mantle and the sea parted. But now, when Elisha was coming with the mantle of his master, the same mantle, he now said, where is God of Elijah? So he was using the power bestowed on him by the mantle of Elijah. And this is why today, this is why today, when we are talking about transference of mantle, we are not just talking about somebody being given power. Mm. There must be a transference. And the power is what is happening majorly. Majorly. It's, it's the power yeah, that wants to not, operate, Pastor. Mm. It's the power that wants to operate. It's not you. It's not your name. Mm. It's, not all, it, it's not all about you. It's about the power that is in you. Mm. A key, a small key will open a big door. Because there is that setting. We are asked if you have somebody that is very mighty, may not be able to open that door, even despite his size and might. But when you have a small key, it will just you just twist it and the door will open. Yes, sir. So I have a quick question from that. 
Are we then saying mantle is an object, something we can physically see? Yeah. Is it, um, you know, we can maybe liken it to maybe the staff of office that apostles and prophets carry? Or is it, is it, is it something, does men, do they have to be made or are they born? Like, is it something that is within or something that is... That we can just that see we and just hand or, over to or people. Or I clothe, I, I wear the clothes. I'm wearing my Baba's Asha Adra now. Agbarati <laughs> Deni. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, okay. Okay. We could, we, we could actually treat it like that, that you are saying. But no. The mm. answer is no. The answer is, when we are talking about transference. Okay. Something happened during Moses. Period. During Moses' time. When he was to transfer the power to 70 men of Israel. You know that God just asked him, go, gather these people and the same spirit that is in you, I will transfer to them. We are just using Elijah and Elisha as a case study because there, there was a physical transference. But in most cases, it is not likely, it is most unlikely to be physical transference. Actually, I had seen a lot of cases where the Baba's clothes, like, like you rightly said, mm. will have to be stored somewhere mm. for the succession mm. of that position. Pose, position. Yeah, yeah. But it is not that clothes mm. per se. Mm. It is not that close per se. <laughs> I know that when, when there is a particular popular church in Nigeria today that once in a while they will take the founder's rod out to pray. Mm. The minister in charge now, the present uh, the minister in charge, will take the, the rod out once in a year and pray for all the pastors mm. they are in. But it is not meaning that they are not, they are not misbehaving. Mm. It is not meaning that they are all empowered mm. like the founder was. Right. But because the spirit is a spiritual thing. Yes. It's a spiritual thing. Not per se a physical thing. Mm. So, transference of man to, it is, it is you know, I, I, I told somebody, I said, we call something element of faith. Mm. All right. okay. Element of faith. When I come out now, and I just bring Baba Fakir's staff of office out. Because it's with me. Mm. And I'll bring it out. And I'll say, oh yeah. Allah no fakir, Allah no Gabriel, no lubu mi fakir yeah. Do this, do this, do this. Mm. People will want to have faith. Mm. The last cloth that he, that he wore before he, 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 he yeah. left the world. Mm. Somebody else have it. And we now say yes. Agbada, Agbada, Baba, me wash your Allah. Agbada, Baba, me wash your. Mutu wa Agbada, Baba. Jio fake ye. Oya mo pa she lo ruko Jesu. People will tend to bow, and their faith will come to it. That is the only physical part of it. But the thing is actually more spiritual than, than being physical. All right, let's come to um, Brother Sheye, our honorable pastor, our calm and gentle pastor. <laughs> this topic, transference of mantles, because um, looking at daddy's generation, you know, it's quite different from ours. <laughs> <laughs> so let's come to our own generation hey, now. Gen Z. Hey, yes. <laughs> Remember she said something um, mm. when we started the show. And I think yesterday, there's also a news of another father of faith who passed on. Yes. The I found, think, yeah, I think the Babala of Aluko. Since last year, a lot of fathers have been transitioning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are these mantles being transferred to the younger generations? Like, what can you say about this topic? Sir? Okay. Um, once again, before I comment, I would like to celebrate Jesus in the life of 
our prophetess, oh, uh, God. Sarah Fritz. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank and I want to so celebrate awesome. Jesus in life of Mama Eiji and <laughs> also our esteemed daddy. Thank All you. right, so this is what I'm going to say basically. I would like us to understand that whenever God works, he works in accordance to the functionality of time. Mm -hmm. And in accordance to the Greek translation, there are two major interpretations for time. We have the Kronos, we have the Kairos. Kronos has to do with the normal GMT. Kairos has to do with the appointed time mm -hmm. in accordance to the structural design of eternity. That's the reason why the Bible says the vision is yet for an appointed, appointed time. time. So God works in accordance to the functionality of an appointed time. And in accordance to the calendar of God, the church of God has entered into a Cairo season. Mm. And that Cairo season has to do with the manifestation of the spirit of God beyond words. Mm. And that's the reason why when we check through scriptures in the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 28, the Bible says on the last day I will pour out my spirit mm. upon oh, all flesh. flesh. So the manifestation of the spirit of God in the Old Testament is entirely different from what we can see in the New Testament. Mm. In the Old Testament, it was strictly designated to the king, priest, prophets. In the New Testament, every yes. believer yes. in Christ Jesus, mm. according to Revelation, chapter 5 verse 10 and in accordance to 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 the Bible says for ye I chosen generation a royal priest to God's own people so in the New Testament we bring about the matrimony of the king priest mm -hmm. alright and by the reason of that every believer has the functionality of the spirit of God mm -hmm. and when the spirit of God comes into the life of a believer there are three operations of the spirit of God first of all we have the operation of the spirit of God as the oil Secondly, we have the operation of the Spirit of God as a wine. And thirdly, we have the operation of the Spirit of God as a mantle. Mm -hmm. And so the operation of the Spirit of God as the oil has mm -hmm. to do with the code of empowerment. How do I know? In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 10, verse 38, the Bible says how the Lord anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, healing those that were oppressed of the devil, for the Lord was with him. So the oil dimension of the Spirit of God is the code for empowerment. Mm -hmm. And so the wine system has to do with the validity for royalty, royalty and intimacy. Mm -hmm. When we study through the book of Esther chapter 1, we will see it there. So whenever, whenever God wants to bring the church of God into the consciousness of royalty, mm -hmm. what he does is that he introduces the technology of the wine. But the last phase of it all is the operation of the spirit of God as the mantle. All right. And so many at times I've heard a good number of persons say that mantle is just an Old Testament thing. Mm. But when you bring about the synergy of the old with the new, you will know that the scripture itself is the synopsis of mantle. Mm. So when you check the Old Testament and the new, you see that there is an operation of the mantle, the reality of the spirit of God. In short, mantle is not just born from the book of First Kings. It's born from the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. The Bible says after the falling state of man, the first thing God did was that God created for the aprons for Adam and Eve. That the word aprons there simply means mantle. Mm -hmm. All right. And so when we check through scriptures critically, we realize that both in the prophetic dispensation, which is the Old Testament, and the apostolic dispensation, we can see the functionality of the mantles of God. So when we check through First Kings chapter, Second Kings chapter two precisely, we will see that there were three major territories, and this is where I'm going, and I'm going to be saying it prophetically. That there are three, there are three major territories that Elisha and Elijah walked through. The first territory is called Bethel. The second one is called Jericho. The third one is called Jordan. And so, in the Hebraic translation and in the Greek translation also, the word Bethel simply means the house of hell. Hell it simply means Elohim. So, when you bring about a synchronism of those two statements, what it simply means is the house of God. The second one, which is Jericho, simply means the moon. That's what it means. And the, by implication, what the moon simply means is that whenever God wants to give about a governing system for illumination upon the sand of time, he introduces for the system of the moon and the sun. How do I know? In the book of Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says, And God made two great lights, one to rule by the day, the other to rule by the night. And the essence of those lights was to bring about the functionality of time upon the surface of the earth. Hallelujah. Just as we said earlier on. So when you check through scripture, whenever God wants to bring about the budging of a new season. What he does is that he uses the technology of the sun and the moon. Hallelujah. And the third phase, which is the climax of it all, is Jordan. Jordan means that in every season, hallelujah, there is always a descending effect. That's what Jordan simply means. And so, when you check through the sons of the prophets, they knew that it was time for their master to go. They had a prophetic gift. But what God was doing in the church of God as a den was not about the prophetic gifts. God was bringing about the manifestation of a governing system which was by the reality of a mantle. Mm. 
So it's possible to have the gift and to, and to be void of the governing system, which is the mantle. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. So when we check through scriptures, the first one is better, which means the house of God. The house of God is the place where we capture seasons, which is Jericho. Hallelujah. It's By great. the reality of the moon, we capture seasons. We can tell, just like the sons of Isaac, the Bible says they had an understanding of times. They could decode the workings of God for every dispensation and every generation, which is the functionality of the moon. Mm. But it's not just enough for us, because one of the major things I've realized in the CNS church is that we are good at decoding the, the we can pipe the reality of the workings of God when it comes to season mm -hmm. but at the end of it we might choose not to enter into mm -hmm. those season so it's one thing to understand the demands and the necessity of a season it's another thing to come into the reality of the spiritual blessings attached to it and so for every season alright there is always a downpour of spiritual blessings that's one of the things I've realized that, and one of the major spiritual blessings God releases in every season is not just exotic cars and houses. God releases mantles. Mm -hmm. How do I know? When we study through scriptures, the Bible makes us understand that when Elijah, all right, even Elijah was persistent at a point in time that just go back, you know, you know, just go back, leave me and all of that, you know, but eventually he, he followed. But when they got to Jordan, mm -hmm. the scripture makes us realize that for once Elijah asked him, he said, what do you want? He said, I want a double portion of your spirit. So call the long story short. One of the major things I've realized was that when he, he would, the intelligence he had and understanding of was that the sons of the prophet just knew that Elijah was departing, but they never knew the demands of that season. Mm -hmm. That every time there is a departure, there is a descending. Mm -hmm. That's the simple truth mm -hmm. about when one goes up, the other comes down. These things, everything that happened was also in the light of the reality of the New Testament because the Bible says the Old Testament is a shadow of greater things to come. So in the light of the New Testament also. The Bible makes us understand in the book of Luke chapter 24 verse 49. The Bible says, tarry ye in Jerusalem until you are endued. The word endued there is from the Greek word which means endure, which means to be mantled. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. So mantle is not just an Old Testament thing, it's a New Testament thing because the believers of the New Testament were also mantled with the Holy Ghost from on high. Hallelujah. They were mantled. Yes. So when, instead of seeking for mantles of Elijah, mantles yes. of Elisha, by by the reality of the Spirit of God, every yes. believer is being mantled because when Christ as when Christ ascended, all right, the Holy Ghost became the heritage of that dispensation. And so, when we check through scriptures, and I'm going to close it up with this: that mantles are not the heritage of servants; mantles are the heritage of sons. Oh, Elisha had an understanding of this, and the Bible says, by the time his master was departing, he didn't say, "My master, my master," he said, "My father, my father." Because mm. he knew that servants don't have inheritance and yes. entitlements. No matter how Abraham loves the, his servant, which is um, Eliezer of Eliezer, Damascus, yes. he cannot be compared to Isaac. Yes. Uh -huh. That's the simple truth. So servants don't have inheritance. That was the reason why it was for the very first time that he needed to switch that word. He said, my father, father my, my father, father, the chariot of Israel and its horsemen. There they had the gift. He had the manifestation of the spirit. By the time he went back, they all bowed. Mm. The Bible says the sons of the prophet, some of them had even been in existence before him. But when they saw him, they bowed. Mm. All right. Because what God is said to do in this Cairo season is the manifestation of the mantle of the spirit of God, which is available to every believer. In short, the operation of the mantle of the spirit of God is that he operates like the coat of many colors. Mm. All right. And when you check the days of Joseph, the scripture makes us realize that when Joseph, all right, when the brothers of Joseph needed to give an evidence to their father, mm. because man Mantles are evidence. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know, it makes you a yes. living witness. That, yes. That's the reason why Jesus. Jesus told them, he said, tarry until you are endued with power yes. because your evidence is the mantle. Ah, if yes. you don't have a mantle, you are voiceless. Mm -hmm. That's what yes. matters the yes. most. So when they, were, when, they, when they sold him out, the scripture makes us realize that what they presented to the father as an evidence was the coat of many colors. The father busted into tears. And in accordance to the light of the New Testament, the Holy Ghost is the coat of many colors of a believer. Mm -hmm. What does it please Simply means it means that we can operate in the multi-breasted realities of the dimension. So when you are praying for the mantle of Elijah, all right, it simply means the demonstration of the power of God. Mm -hmm. When you are praying for the mantle of Joseph, it means the demonstration of the wisdom of God. But in Christ Jesus, you operate in multi-breasted realities oh, embedded yeah. in Christ. Yeah. That's the reason why the Bible says Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. All right, and so the coat of many colors means that you can bump into so many realities at a go, as long as those realities are embedded and they are encoded mm -hmm. in Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Glory. man. Thank you so much, sir. Glory.
Hallelujah. Amen. So while daddy was speaking, mm. and while you were also speaking, you made mention of points that are same. You both made mention of power. Yes, you both made mention of empowerment. Yes, you both made mention of followership. Yes. Do we mm. still have all of those things these days? Um, uh, first of all, um, I might not literally say if is evident in the life of the person or not, but mm. scripturally, um, one of the major things I've seen is that the proof that Elisha has worked with Elijah is that there is a manifestation of the mantle upon him, mm -hmm. all right? And it's not possible for a believer, all right, that has a major mandate mm. to step into the mandate without, you know, a manifestation of the spirit. Such mm. a person will end up becoming a figurehead, mm. just like Saul. You can be on the throne, but the Lord has departed from you. Mm. But so when you check out the life of people that have followed that, you know, that they've understood the technicalities and the technology of discipleship to a very good extent, the grace is always replicated. I'm mm. telling you, that's the simple truth. It's not just about following someone. Mm -hmm. It's about following the person ardently. For instance, mm -hmm. by God's grace, we run a ministry and a good number of persons that are with us, I don't need to lay hands on anybody. Mm. We'll just see that there is a replication of that grace. Mm. That's what followership does. Mm. When Jesus was communicating to the disciples, what he simply said is, follow me. Mm and I will I'm make you fishers of men. They, you know, you can hardly see instances in the life of Jesus that he was laying hands mm, on them and all mm, of that. Mm. But by the reason of intercourse, that's what it does. Mm. You know, discipleship is all about in intercourse. Mm. When you engage someone, when you, it, at a point in time, the scripture makes us realize that when they saw the disciples of Jesus, there was a sense of resemblance they had mm -hmm, already. Mm -hmm. You know, so they could not identify that, that this is yeah, Jesus from that's what that's what companionship does that's what intercourse does that's what synergy does so to a good extent it's not just about being position oriented mm -hmm. Is about following out after a person, mm. following out after Christ. And if God has placed a person over you, learn the nitty gritty of what God will have you learn mm. and also be blessed by the doctrine of Christ that the person possesses mm. in order for you to match up into a greater reality. Because mm. when we study scriptures, the Bible says that Elisha said, you know, Elijah, one of the speakings of Elisha is that I want a double portion of your spirit. That double portion does not mean times two. Mm. What it simply means is the heritage of the firstborn. Aha, uh -huh. that's what it means in the Hebraic translation. It means the heritage of the firstborn. So when you see someone that has followed that after to a good extent, the grace will naturally rub on. Mm. It's not something you contend for. It's not something it will naturally rub on. But if you are void of that grace and you step into that position, we've seen so many instances mm. like that, you will become a figurehead. And at the end of it, your life might end up becoming a jeopardy mm. because the devil would naturally contend with the person and the mm. person will become a victim of circumstances mm. in life. Mm. So that's just it, man. Thank you, sir. Maybe I should just ask, add this mm. yes, sir. to that question. Yes, sir. Like we are actually uh, overseeing that a lot of leaders are transiting. Mm. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, we are looking at the, the, the rate of succession mm. of these leaders. Mm. Mm. Um, practically speaking now, as at what is happening now, though, like I told you, I don't want to be too theological. Mm. I want to be practical. I want mm. us to look at it as it is. Thank God we are in CNS mm. and we see a lot of people mm. passing on and other people stepping in. Mm. Uh, I talked about Elisha and Elijah. Followership. Followership. We have a lot of churches these days in Nigeria today that has a lot of chaotic, chaotic a situation because of leadership. Mm. A lot of turbulence. Mm. Mm. To an extent that some people will even resolve to physical mm. something. Mm. But the thing I usually ask myself is, is the passage of this man of God, does it actually mean that there is no sustenance or successional procedure mm. to it. Uh, I belong to so many churches apart from movement that I was born in, 
<laughs> I was born in movement, but I belong to so many other churches. And I have ex I had experienced a lot of things like this in transference of mentorship. Uh, I believe one thing. You know, I, I, I usually tell people, Bible culture, Bible culture may be different from our natural culture. Bible doctrine are not, I would love to say it here, that Bible doctrines are not 100% practicable in most church doctrines. Mm -hmm. In most churches, we have our doctrines. Mm -hmm. But when we want to go, we are talking about Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. But let me tell you something. If we want to really have a good operational modality in a particular church, you have to be doctrinal in, 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 you have to be really indoctrinated as per the church. One thing I tell people about this kind of successionship is that uh, we have four types of leaders according to Rukota and uh, whatever. We have the democratic, we have the autocratic, we have some that we call the sefere, and we have the idolcratic. Now, the, the, most of these people being planted in churches without real followership. Maybe somebody, maybe my ministry now, apart from being a church member of movement, I have my personal ministry. That's a light of truth, evangelistic group of ministries. My ministry now, I just carry my boy. That she, he will be the next when I transited. There are some people that had been following me that we started the ministry together mm. in the past 25, 27 years that really know what we had gone through. I guess. I guess. <laughs> that really know, know what we had mm. gone through. My boy that just graduated mm. two years ago mm. now, I will now fix him in mm. and say because <laughs> I am the uh, mm. uh, president mm. and uh, co-founder or, co or founder or whatever. I will not put him there. Mm. You see, at the end of the day, fortunately, you know my boy, Michael. Yes, sir. Michael had his own ministry. Yeah. I have my own ministry. <laughs> we are living as father, father and, and son. son. But he has his own ministry. So definitely, by the time he comes into my shoes in my ministry, he will change my, my own yes. ministry to his own ministry. <laughs> <laughs> Which man to have we have we passed? <laughs> have we transferred any man to? No, it's only a matter of one will come and kill the other. <laughs> and that is what we are experiencing mostly in so many white garment churches today. Mm. I wrote something sometimes ago. I said, if there is chaos in transference of man to in any organization, you have to blame the departed leader. Hmm. You have to blame the departed leader. Hmm. Because yeah. oh yeah, badon won't do now. Hmm. Oh yeah, Luba don't feel badon. Nobody contests for it. Because you already know who is next. Yes, hmm. They don't contest. The one that just passed away now. We know who is next. When another person said eh, eh, de, eh, eh, eh. Hmm. we we all yeah, already true. know who is next. And it is different from when a soul, one thing I, I used to look at people, I, I, uh, people, when Christ was to pronounce the church, the first time he was to talk about the church was on the confession of Peter. And he said, I will build my church, not our church. He said, I will build my church, which means church solely belongs to him. That's our problem. Church does not belong to Bishop Shashim. No. Mm -hmm. It's not his property. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't want to keep mentioning movement, movement, <laughs> movement. <laughs> but I thank God I belong to movement. But no, one thing is, I, 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 I used to tell people that in movement, you don't own, church is not your property. Yeah, yeah you don't own it. So, 
when we are talking about being filled with the Holy Spirit, fine. But then, another thing we must know is that you must belong in to that place fully and right. actually be in the shoes that you are probable the, the, uh, you, you, will, you, will, you, will, you, you will fit into the shoe mm. that the leader actually left. Of recent, when we are talking about our own church, I told them categorically, we have a babaladura already. Mm. So it is not a matter of, uh, uh, let us vote, let us mm -hmm. cast. No! Mm -hmm. Or Baba Abido Yad already pronounced somebody. No! Mm. No! We know who is mm. what and who is going to be. Mm. So, to, to me, to me, I'm not disputing the fact of every believer is already demanded. Mm. You are mantled to be a leader of your part. No, every Christian is a leader. That's what we usually teach. Every Christian, if you are, if if you will follow the Great Commission, he said, "Go ye into the world and preach." Whoever you you are able to bring to the kingdom, you are his leader. You are a leader, and that is why he or she is your disciple. So you are a leader by the reason of you being empowered or endued with Holy Spirit. So God will will bless His church. We will need that something, the, 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 the step by step followership mm. must always be there. Thank you very much, Daddy. Thank you, sir. Um, to that, I would like to ask can men transfer man to, to another? Can we actually, should we say maybe through laying of hands? Can, does it work like that or it has to be? When I was talking the other time, I was talking about uh, man to transference being more spiritual than being physical. It doesn't mean it could not be physical. It could be physical. But the spirituality in it, I'm sorry, like I told you, I am born seraph, but I am a Methodist bishop. This is not funny. <laughs> 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 I remember mean, this bishop. Okay. When I was telling somebody, I said, in Methodist, we don't ordain bishops. Oh, really? We don't ordain bishops. We consecrate bishops. Ah, right. That's a difference. Ah. We consecrate bishops. Right, okay. What does consecration mean? Set them Set apart. Set them apart. And when we are setting apart a bishop, the, the, the major thing that we do, the, the, the ike of that event is when you are pouring oil. Because somebody will come and lay hands first, maybe an archbishop or a senior bishop. Mine was done by late bishop Olaoye. He, 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 uh, he was already archbishop elect. So he did mine when I was becoming a bishop. Now he laid hand. The next thing, immediately after the laying of hands, he will pour a whole bottle of oil mm. on your head and place your skull cap, which you are not supposed to open your head for anything again. That is impartation. Do you get it? Yes. I'm not saying we can, we can look at it as transference of man to, but it is more than that. It is impartation because immediately after, before then, immediately before then, you must have done your last prostrate. You prostrate, then you don't prostrate to anybody anywhere again in life. You must done your last prostrate. It is real consecration. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You must have done your last prostrate before laying of hands. Now follow immediately by pouring of, water, of oil. And immediately they pour oil on you, they place skull cap and place your mitre. 
So your head is not supposed to be seen by anybody again. Can you get that? Mm. So that is impartation. And because of the custom, that is why I said element of faith. Mm. Because of the custom, immediately you receive your crozier, that is the, the staff of office, as a shepherd, as a bishop. The moment you, 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 you take it, everybody will bow, believing that whatever you now say mm. is an authority. Mm. And that is why, anywhere you go, I'm a bishop of Alashe. I'm a bishop of Alashe. Because they all look at you as being imparted already. So man can transfer man to, but it is not meaning that. Uh, 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 like he was talking about manifestation. You see, uh, I pray that we will not be part of those that will say, hey, in your name, I do this. In your mm -hmm. name, I do that. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, he, he, he will say, I, I, know I know you know you not. Because mm. man to transference here on earth, fine, can always be, 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 be social, Something. Yeah. Somebody poor, you become Baba Ladura today, this and that, but does the heaven know you as Baba mm. Ladura? Mm. That is why I talked about types of leadership. Mm. So many of those people that have been transferred mantle upon are idocratic. What do I mean by idocratic? Nobody wants to super hate them. Nobody wants to be on top of them. That is idol. Mm. That is idolizing somebody. Mm. It is true idolization now that we make him the head. Mm. But we are, even without any leadership trait, mm. even without any leadership ability, mm. because he is the most senior, mm. and we just put him there. Mm. And that is what is troubling the church today. That is what is troubling the church today. I pray God heal his church. Amen. Don't let me talk more than that. <laughs> so mantus, you said, um, Pastor Shea, yes. mantus are the heritage of sons. Yes. So that means there must be a position. You must have, um, there must be a thatcher that you must be in. Yeah. In order for mantu transference. Okay. Um, I'm going to say this. You know, one of the major things I've realized is that mantles review your season. For every season of a man's life, there is a manifestation of the oppression of a mantle. For instance, when we check out the life of Joseph, there were three instances in his life where he encountered the oppression of a mantle. First of all, when he was in the pit, the Bible says his brothers took forth his mantle, his raiment, and they took it to the father. Secondly, when there was an esteem and a clarion call as a, as a result of the demand of the king's call upon his life. The Bible says the first thing he did after they called him out of the dungeon was that he needed to change his raiment. The word raiment there means man too. Mm. So there was a, he knew that he could not appear before the king with the mantle of a prisoner. So he needed to change it and appear forth. Then when it was time for him to come into the governance, the governing system in accordance to the ultimacy of the plan of God concerning his life, the Bible says the king placed upon him a raiment, which was also a mantle. So there is a mantle that defines governance. And so this is what I'm saying invariably. If God wants to bring about a reformation to the life of a man, he places a mantle upon him. If Satan wants to destroy the life of a man also, he places a mantle. Mm. That's the reason why the Bible <laughs> okay. says in the book of Isaiah chapter 60, you know, that we place upon you the garment of praise. So in the kingdom of God, there is a mantle that every believer possesses. So it's not until when we attain a certain stature. That's the simple truth about it. The moment you are a child of God, the moment you are a believer, there is a mantle you possess. And that is the personality of the Holy Ghost. And one of the major reasons I think people don't really lay emphasis to mantles, especially new creation personalities, they don't talk about mantles, is because of the level of idolatry that people have placed upon it. Mm. You know, you like hear exactly what about. Daddy was saying. Mm. Like when you meet with people, People, you know, I've seen people go to the grave of, I, with all due respect, I, I respect our 
a steam daddy that just passed. But I won't yeah, be surprised. So when people start going, exactly, exactly. I won't be surprised. I won't, I won't yeah. be surprised. That was exactly why we had to mm. go be and bury Baba Fakir at Mesile. Mm. Because we don't, we, we believe that if he's buried here in Lagos, people would, they would mm. make mm. mockery of, uh, mm. <laughs> let me call it mockery. Mm. Yeah, so, so in the real sense mm. of it, the level of idolatry mm. is why people don't talk about, especially grace teachers, they don't talk about, you know, mantu, 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 and they just tell you to focus your gaze on Christ. Yes. That mm -hmm. as long as you have Christ, you have the totality of it all. But we cannot downplay the oppression of mantus in his real sense, even though it has been idolized. Mm -hmm. And so, according to the question you asked earlier on, Ma, that is it possible for a man to transfer a mantu? A man does not have the ability to transfer any other mantu. When you check the instance of Moses, the Bible says he laid his hands upon the 70 elders and they were anointed. So the best a man can release upon a man is the anointing. Mm. The anointing mm. is the transference of mm. grace to replicate that which he carries. Mm. Uh -huh. But uh, mantus are mirrors of an ascended reality. Yes. So it is when one goes up that Another. there can be a release. That's what it's simple. So the way Bishop Boyedepo is now, he cannot place a man, he cannot give me a mantle now. The best he can give me is an impartation of the anointing because he's still alive. But when he now ascends, all right, yeah. God can now choose in accordance to the uniqueness of a tribal formation. Mm. Because in the spirit realm, there are celestial coordinations. And one of the system of the celestial coordination is that there are, there are we are all believers, but there's what they call tribal formation. Mm. So every believer belongs to a tribe. Mm. There's what they call the tribe of Levi, the but tribe of yes, Judah. Yes, so yes. according to the dignity of your tribe, there is a mantle that governs that oppression. I don't want to go deep into it so people don't misconceive what I'm mm. saying. Uh -huh. So there is a mantle that determines your mode of oppression. I've seen people pray for the mantle of they, they can pray for it for 50 years. They will not, re they will <laughs> not receive <laughs> one. Because before God releases the mantle of a man upon you, before God releases a mantle, he considers your mandate. Mm. It is your um, mandate that, that determines, determines your, mantle. your mantle. So if God is calling you to the political sector and you are praying for the mantle of Urim Olade, it's mm. a waste of time. Mm. Because there is, a, there, is, there is also a mantle that defines governance. And that was what Joseph and Daniel operated in. So many a times when we talk about the revival structure in these last days, we just talk about the power dimension and we sideline we side the wisdom dimension of it also. Yes. Unknown to you that if you will take over the corporate system, the business world, the political yes. entity, yes. it's not by the mantle of Uri Molade, yes. it's by the mantle of wisdom yes. that is needed as at that point yes. in time. So God will not give you a mantle you don't need. You can sit and pray for from now till tomorrow. It's a waste of time. Right. God will only give you a mantle in accordance to the structural configuration of your mandate. Mm. That's how it operates. So every believer has the mantle of the spirit. But when God wants to bring you into fordrance of, of a certain assignment and a commission, then in accordance to the uniqueness and the peculiarity of your tribal system, it can now release a mantle for the execution of that assignment. Mm. <laughs> so from what you said now, yes, it means even every believer needs to understand their mandate. Yes, Otherwise, you are just... Is it prayer vis that we would call it now yeah, or what? Yeah, you need to understand yes, your mandates before saying, Oh, I like the way daddy yes, daddy does. Exactly. I want to do this. I want to before wishing or praying for what he carries yes, or what you carry. Yes, wow. So I hope we all learn from that as well. Because it looks like this is like I was speaking with someone Monday and I said, Um, I don't know the way people take mentorship these days. Mm. We take mentorship and we want to be somebody. Mm. <laughs> you know. Someone is your mentor, but at the end of the day, the way you are taking it is like you just want to be exactly exactly like. that person. But mm. it may not even be that may not be your own path. I was mm. telling some people sometimes. Yes, you are, sir. I was telling them. I lived with Jiufake for eighteen years before leaving him, and it is not before leaving his house. Okay. I did not leave him okay. because he will always still call me. We had to look and do this, to look come and do that mm. for about another eight years. Uh, but, but, I, but I was telling some people in the church, I'm sorry to actually say this, but mm. something that I believe in, that's what I tell people. In my whole year in his house, I didn't see him doing anything odd, mm. doing anything that is out of place. But yet, I find it very difficult to want to pray now and say, Oh, Lord, Ufake, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. No, because the, the, the way God dealt with him, 
is actually different from the way God is dealing with me. Mm. I, I told them, I said, Fakeye is a special apostle to evangelism. I'm a prophet to teaching. Mm. God told me categorically, I gave you prophetic uh, mandate to go and teach my people. When I started, when, when the church bothered upon me, eh, you have not started your, your fellowship. Yeah, no. Hmm. I, I foolishly started. Hmm. Forgetting who called me. Forgetting my mandate. Hmm. I walked without reason for three, four years. Hmm. And after then, God now spoke to me as a loving son. I did not ask you to build a church for me. I can never forget that statement. Mm -hmm. I did not ask you to build a church for me. Go and build the builders that will build the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is why when you see Lotekat Academy, uh, Leadership Academy, the, the logo, uh, the, 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 the slogan under the logo is building the builder that yeah. builds the church. Sure. I did not ask you to go and build church for me. It's not your mandate. Thank God, up to tomorrow, I belong to CNS Movement Church, Surulere District. Mm. And I, 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 I am not anything in the church that member. Mm. If, if there is any anything I want to do in the church, I will do, in the, do it in the college. Because that's my ministry. Mm. Fakaya was never a, did not enter a Bible school for a day. And he became director of the school. Uh, Abby, he became director of the school, being that he was the leader of the church. But me, I am not opportuned. I have to become a professor of theology before I can become a rector. So it is different. I cannot, I cannot pray for his mantle. I can't. I can't pray for his man too. So, we, like you are asking, everybody, you, you need to know who am I in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Who am I? And that is why many of us are missing it. Mm -hmm. Because you don't actually know a lot of pastors are doing the work of prophets. Mm -hmm. Because we don't know who, who we are. Mm -hmm. Because prophet Lojawo. <laughs> <laughs> That is there's something I even saw recently. You. An ordained pastor uh, is also now ordained prophet. as a prophet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How yeah, is it? Yeah, uh, uh, no, no, no. You know one thing. You know one thing. When they get uh, pastor, they don't want that. They still want they, prophets. They, they want prophet. Be the, the, okay, <laughs> okay. Like some of us that had been prophet before the the uh, uh, coming in of pastors' council. Mm. I, I, I refuse to be registered. In the pastors' council, because it is part of the law of of our own law in movement that you can't be a prophet and a pastor. Oh, is it? Oh. When when I realized when I saw something that you are talking about this thing you are talking about mm. when I saw something like that I said, no, no, no there is a community law. Mm. There is a community law, mm. and if you are if you are part of that community, you are still under the community, community law. law. Okay, who, who else could have been a pastor than me? Who is, who, who is training pastors training to become pastors? Pastor. Mm. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Producer of pastors. But I'm not a pastor. Mm. I used to tell them I, I'm a teacher. Mm. That is why wow. I, I, I look at it. Those people that are prophets or are pastors and becoming prophets, Mm. They want to use koda and put opa. They don't want to use stole and collar. No, because talo fe roba oni collar lono. Everybody wants to go to the prophet. <laughs> they want wow. to go to the prophet. Mm. So woli mm. lunjawo. So you will know that this kind of people, they are not per se consistent in the presence of God. They don't even know where they belong in. It is not bad if God, like I said, if God gives you the mandate of a prophet and calls you to go and plant a church. Most of our leaders, 
in CNS Movement Church are they not prophets? Mm, yeah, many of them are but they are pastoring their church. Mm. But it doesn't mean they belong to pastor's council. Mm. Mm. They will not be ordained as a pastor because they are prophets. Mm. Thank you very much, Daddy. We thank God. Thank you. Well, that just um, enlightened me. Well, more mm -hmm. that. So we have some captains of industries pastoring. Mm -hmm. We have people who are supposed to be uh, the, the presidents or whatever, yeah. doing yes. Ishe Oluwa. Ishe Oluwa. Lo, mm -hmm. yes, now. Yes, now. How do we correct this <laughs> error? How can we... So that means... If we're not aligning, then uh, there's a big there's problem. There's a big problem in the church. Mm -hmm. There's a big problem in the church. Um, you see, one thing is this. Uh, there are two ways to the call. There are so many... Like I, I wrote a book. Sorry, I didn't bring some of my books. Mm -hmm. I wrote a book. I said, the called, the called and his calling. Yes. I, I, that's the tag of that and I look at it that most people are called, but they don't understand their calling. Mm. You see, you can, you can be called into what we can call part-time ministry. Mm, that's it, like the calling of Paul, yes, uh, the apostle. Yes, he said cat categorically, he said, I... My hand is able to feed me. Yes, he, he had the grace to walk more than every other apostle. But yet, he, was, he died a tent maker. Mm. Which means, he was not into full-time ministry. Unlike that of Peter. <laughs> Unlike that of Peter. Immediately, God, Jesus Christ told Peter, I will make you Fishers of men. Nothing, nothing again that uh, 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 profit in his hand again mm. than the work of the, the ministry. Of the ministry. Even the day he left, the people had you know, did something. Me, I want to, to go back fishing. This is somebody that was born into fishing. He doesn't understand it again. Mm -hmm. Because he was called into full time. You see, one thing is, a lot of people are missing it because we don't have the, the, the operational understanding. Do, a lot of us are, okay, like me, I, won't, I, 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 I will make myself as an example. I make a friend of mine another example. Me, that started Yabatek, CNS. Uh, at a point in time, I left CNS. Wow. Ma? Hmm. I left hmm. CNS. Because I, that time was so tedious for CNS. Hmm. If you see anybody in white garment, they look at you as an abalist. Hmm. <laughs> I was at Alagbado then. They look at you as abalist. So, I, 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 I jumped to Pentecostal Church. Hmm. Made my church that was booming as CNS. Turn it over. To Pentecostal. Mm -hmm. And to God be the glory. Until I came back after eight years. Nothing happened in the Pentecostal church. I was the, the, the vice chairman of PFN. Alak Badu. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. But someday. Somebody, some things came to me. That are you called to this place? Do you know your target? Mm -hmm. And I used to tell people. If you don't know your target. You will become a target. <laughs> if you know your if you don't know your target you will become a target for any stupid thing if you are not standing for anything you will fall for many things so that was it that was it I had to come back until I came back to CNS thank God I was not one of those that will burn their uh, actual dura Unlike, I, 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 I said I will use my, my friend. He's my very, very close friend. Shegun Rufai. Shegun Rufai. Mm. He was the first president of UNIFE. University of UNIFE. Mm. He was actually the first general president of Unification Church. Uh, campus Fellowship. He started it by new dispensation. Mm. 
He said, we can be entering the church with, with our shoes on. This and that, new dispensation, we started. All of a sudden, he started at Balao uh, 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 Zion Court, this and that. Uh, uh, small by small, we started removing uh, Ashwadura. We started entering church with shoe, uh, this and that. This is, this, he was then the first son of our chairman, Lagos district, Babarufai. He left CNS for 28 years. Today, as I am talking, he is Babaladura at, uh, uh, I, I think, at your ball axis. He is Babaladura. He had to come back because that is where he was called to. A lot of people, and let me tell you something, if he failed to, on, uh, to, to, to retrace his, his steps, steps before he died, he will die for nothing. Mm. Because you, you will serve for years. Me, I've been in the ministry for 37 years wow. now. <laughs> to the glory of God. Wow. This year, we mark 37 Okay, will I now serve 37 years non and void? Mm. Thank God I, 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 I quickly see people, including Tunde Bakari, that told me that your ministry is in white garment. Mm. Although he misinterpreted it, he said he, he was talking about holiness. But immediately he said it, the thing clicked on me that is in white garment. Why will let someone come on? So, to God be the glory. So, so many people are in the Sheolua that are not even called at all. Yeah, they are not even flashed. <laughs> Although they are flashing one. <laughs> but they are supposed to, to be in, in bank working. Mm, they are supposed to be in, in, in political setting. Mm. So, are our leaders, are they identifying these people? Like... When you have yeah. a follower, you're, you're following, you have a group of people that follows you. Do you identify them to as a leader that, yeah, and say that... This is not where you're called, this is where you're called. Or and are we that. just allowing them to just follow mm. us? How many leaders... Sorry, Pastor. <laughs> how many of these so-called leaders actually understand themselves, themselves. first? Hmm. Before now, understanding the membership the people in the congregation, mm. one of the major quality of a good leader is to help develop the abilities of okay. other members of his congregation. Mm -hmm. You know, there is no leadership without followership. Mm -hmm. But if, like I said the other time, uh, 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 law, there is a law that says you are not a good leader. You are, you are not a good leader until when you pass away and your successor did well. Hmm. If, if, you, if you are still alive, if you are still alive and you are, you are being called leader, 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 fine. Nobody recognizes you as... I used to tell them yeah, in Yabate. Yes, every time there's a new set of... The law of legacy. The law of legacy says that the success of a leader, mm. the success of a leader depends on the success of the successor. Mm. So if your, if your congregations are not doing well, <laughs> if your congregations are not doing well, then you are not a good leader. And we, we are not talking about getting money now. Yeah, it's good to have money. But, but spiritually, are they growing? Somebody that is supposed to be in the music ministry, you are forcing her to come and become a prophetess. Because if you don't become a prophet or, of music. or a prophet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> if you don't become a prophet or prophetess in CNS, you are nobody. Wow. And that's, that's, that's our perception. And it's quite sad. That is, uh, that's our perception. But identify. Identify 
the ability and capability of each congregation. But you, you can't give what you don't have. Nemo that quart nemo bet. You can't give what you don't have. You yourself, are you able to identify yourself? Hmm. That's a very that's a question with a very big question. Wait, wait, mark. Question mark. Are you able to identify yourself? Are you able to identify? Can can you tell me who you are? Hmm. Own mission. They have called me times that number in my church. It's good. If I have fellowship, I, I, I will be making money. At least I'm at Sandamewa. <laughs> yes, now. <laughs> and they know Shashim for that. We <laughs> <laughs> crowd. <laughs> but then, God didn't He's ask me to go and do that. He yeah. said I should go and build the builders that will build the church. So, God bless his church once again, Amen. but we still have a lot of work to do. to do. That's why I'm happy with your program. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm happy with your program. You, and I, I pray that our people will listen. Mm. Mm. Church, I've gone to a church, introduced Bible school to them. And like a whole lot by Reverend Doctor was telling me, a mimi monon conya ni bibeli. I was tuned. Ah? So the whole package, Timothy Besori Pemo fair, of a basic letter. Oh, I just cook my keep. I kept quiet immediately. When the leader already is saying that a mimi mon, a mimi monon non conya. It, it's not only that. Even in churches, like sermon, you see them. It they has like, been they're watered. boring. Mm. And all um, the drummers, the musicians, the oh, oh, that's the sermon, another set they're, of they're people. Out already. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to listen to the word of I God. That's the time they're like, no, 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 it's taking too long. I'm yeah. yeah. taking too long. Ah, daddy, I am not know. I'm not going to work on Ask me. Is it true? Ask me. I think I have something to say as well. Yes, please. With what with daddy daddy said. Said. I think one of the major things that help the advancement of every man in life mm. is understanding the principle of assessment and evaluation. And evaluation mm. yes. That's mm. how it works. So evaluation is the call to our advancement in life. Even our Lord understood the cognizance of this. And that's the reason why the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 1 that everything God created, God saw, saw that, that it, it was, was good. good. Yes. When he created light, he saw it was good. Yeah, so many at times, see, the reason why most people you know, don't advance in life is because, number one, they don't put into consideration the law of flexibility. Mm. So we are not flexible, all right? It's when we evaluate ourselves that we can understand flexibility. So flexibility comes as a result of assessment and assessment evaluation. Mm. So there are times you just need to sit down that, you know, I do this very well, that God, I want to be very, very sure, mm. you know, especially in stormy moments yes. in ministry. Ministry can be very, very tough, ah. you mm. know? <laughs> No, at times I would say, God, are you sure? Uh, did are I hear very well? Yeah. Are you in I this? Just, I just want to be very, very sure <laughs> that I hear yes. yes. very well and all of that, <laughs> you know, and all of that. So it happens like that. I remember there was a point in time my brother was conversing with me and told me that Apostle Ayo Babalola, that I called a good number of apostles working with him. I said, well, along with me, along Nicola Mashe, Carpenter, he was along. And as I then, we might not know the implication of what he was doing, yes. mm. but he was raising a breed of disciples that would be relevant in the economic world. Mm. That's so what God wants. Exactly. Because many a times when we talk of revival, it's not just falling down and rising up. Yes. God is not interested in a, in a generation of people that will be so, that will be Samuels mm. praying for the souls. Mm. The souls are the ones that God has departed from. The spirit of God that left them. God is raising a Davidic order that would mount the throne. Yeah. So God wants us to be in the place of governance also. When people say politics is a dirty game, mm -hmm. no, there's a mantle for politics. Yes. When God releases it upon your life, you will gain relevance and significance in that sphere yes. of life. That's how it works, you know. So many exactly, well. man. <laughs> so a good number of people, when they see them in church, that they have this prophetic gift, mm. the first thing that comes to their mind is that the next line of action is going to Oreb. That's not the mm -hmm. will of God. When you check the life of Joseph, Joseph operated in the prophetic. Daniel operated in the prophetic. Mm. But they were not in the church. They were in the in world. The world. Yes. We are not the light of the church. We are the yeah, light of the, of the world. Yes. 
So our relevance is not meant to be framed, you know, in the four walls of the church. It's meant to be captured in the world system, in the world. Because there are many people that will not come to the church. It's yes. when they see your relevance in the in world the system world, that they, they will they come, come to the, the church. church. That's how it works. So mm. God is raising a generation of people that will take the prophetic spirit of God to the nations of the world and to the spheres and the stratas of this life. Because it's not just about going there as a mortal. It's mm. about going there with the influence and the interaction of a prophetic spirit. Mm. Whereby you will not just operate intellectually. You will operate by the wisdom of the ancients. That's how it works. You will operate by the intellectual stand that has the ability to balance up with the spiritual. That was what Joseph Daniel of the... Because there was a point in time, one of the things I've realized is that every mountain of this world is governed by a spirit realm. That's mm. the simple mm. truth. Mm. So if you think you are going there on the strength of your brain, you will crash. Mm. But when you mm -hmm. go there by the influence of a spirit, you know, which is the Holy Ghost that is resident in the life of a believer, you will mm. gain the atmosphere of radiation relevance and significance. And that's what is needed in church. So when we see someone that goes in trance in church, our first inclination should not be the next line of action is Urib. Our mm. first inclination should be that this one as the prophetic spirit was the download of the spirit of God, you know, emphasizing on as yeah. regards this matter. Is this person meant to be in the church? Because 98% of believers according to the frame of God, is they are meant to be in the world, not in not the church. Not in the church, yeah. the yeah. church yeah. is the place of equipping. The world is yes. a place of manifestation. Yeah. So when you are equipped in the church, you are meant to manifest in the world. Manifest That's the reason why the, the Bible world. says the earnest expectation of the creature awaited the manifestation of the sons of God. In the Greek, it's mm. called apocalypse, which means an unveiling to take territories. Occupy till I come. Yes. It's not just giving birth. It's taking dominance. Yes. That's how it operates, man. Thank yes. you very yes. much, sir. Um, yes, Daddy said something while he was speaking and I would like to ask you a question okay, based man. on that. Especially um, with what is happening generally now, and as youth, yes. that's why we have a blend of, you know, uh, <laughs> you Arubo understand. <laughs> I don't mean Arugo in no, that, that sense. You're so sweet to say, <laughs> don't mind the GY. <laughs> so these days, we have, because we are talking about transference of mantles, yeah. these days we have a lot of, a lot of youths who want to be on their own. Daddy mentioned earlier mm. that he was in Baba Fakaye's house for 28 years. Mm. Then he now said something that he did not leave the man. He only left his house. That means even when he left his house, he was still That's under the man's family. tutelage. Yes. Mm. These days are our youths mm. ready to be yeah. tutored, yeah. ready to be equipped for that manifestation we see. Oh, I see. But he also mentioned that he was not praying for Papa Kaye's mantle mm. because he understood that their, their, their calling, mandate, their yes. mandate, that's the word, is different. But Papa Fakaya has been called into fine. Is that his mentor? Is his teacher? Is his this? Is, is, is that? Or he understood that they have different mandates. But our youth these days, two questions in one. Yeah. Are we ready? Are we available? Mm. Are we humble enough? No. Or patient? I've been tutored by you now. And next mm. year, maybe maybe I, I joined I join your ministry this year. And before you know it, next year, you know, uh, AGY Ministries. Yes, <laughs> 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 Yes, mama. Yes, now, mama, to do me. That's mama. And then we get to mama me. What about me? Get back. What about me? What about me? What about me? Do you understand? Yes, are we ready? Because are we really equipped mm. for what we are venturing into? Mm. Now, even when we now get there, do we, all, when you are not even equipped, mm -hmm. how do you even, how do you understand that? <laughs> when is that time? When is that set time? Because um, in the case of Elisha, that he mentioned, you also mentioned, he followed him to the end. Yes, he didn't stay there and he just said, I mean, Doga and all of that. And I'm very sure that there were things that he didn't like about exactly. Elisha. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's where I'm So saying, many things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. So many things. Exactly. I'm, yeah. I'm sure they abused yeah. each other. They fought okay. so many exactly. times. And he still did not leave. He yeah. couldn't have been rosy all through that stay. Mm. But he still stayed till he followed him to the end. What can you say about okay. that? Or what advice would you give to we youth? All right. So what I'm going to say, first of all, is this, that the essence of mentorship is not to embark upon a cloning system. Mm. There's what they call cloning. Cloning makes you look like someone else. Mm. The essence of mentorship is to bring out the uniqueness and the peculiarity of your being. Mm. 
So, for instance, if I have people under me that are mentoring, it's not for them to talk like me, do things like me, mm. they become like me. We even and speak in tongues like somebody like me. mentoring Glory us now. God. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's not the beauty of it, mm. actually. The beauty of it is that the peculiarity of God that has been deposited, because everyone has a seed of uniqueness in him, and that seed of uniqueness is where your greatness lies. Mm. So, if you are trying to be like someone else, you know, there's Pardon me. There's a music, there, there's a song, uh, there's an artist that said photocopy is not easy. Hey. Uh -huh. hey. So it's quite <laughs> difficult to photocopy. Yeah. I won't mention his name. Yeah. <laughs> but it's quite difficult to photocopy someone yeah. than bringing out your own originality. Mm. That's how it operates. Mm. It's, it's For me now, if I now say I'm trying to talk like Bishop Boy, it will be difficult. Glory to God. You know, it's going to be mm. difficult for me. I know the way I talk. <laughs> the, when I was growing, I remember I was trying to talk like one American preacher before I knew it. <laughs> I just knew that my head was aching me. So I knew that God was not... Con <laughs> so I he talk uniquely. This is the way I talk and this is just me. Yeah. So you, the essence of mentorship is not for a cloning system. Even in the days of Jesus, when we study through scriptures very well, you see that what God configured Peter for was entirely different from oh. James and John. Yes. John, Peter was more of a builder. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why Jesus was saying, upon this rock shall I build my mm -hmm. church. He was not talking of Peter. He was talking of the revelation yeah, of yeah, Christ's the, knowledge. The, the, the but in the real sense of it, Peter was meant to operate as a builder in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. All right. But James and John, the Bible says when Jesus saw them, he said, you are, you are sons of Boanages. You are Boanages, yeah. sons of thunder. Mm -hmm. You know, at, at a point, they were the ones that said, ah, can't we call down fire from heaven and all of that. Their own configuration is quite different. So mentorship brings out the best in a man. Mm -hmm. All right. And so in the very act of mentorship, this we are now becoming, the, you know, when you check out the ministry of John the Baptist, the ministry of John the Baptist was to act as a bridge between the generation of the fathers and the younger ones. If there is one thing that we are lacking in this dispensation is the, is the disparity between the generation of old and the younger generation. And many at times, I'm a young person, so I can say some things. It's not that the younger generation just choose to be rebellious. But it's that they've seen some things. Mm. Uh -huh. yeah, you know, yeah, we might not be able to go into details, but they've seen yeah. some things. But one of the things I've understood is that there is no perfect man anywhere. Exactly. Mm. By God's grace, I, I'm saying it openly now. You know, when daddy was saying it the other time, I was, I was privileged to be a member of Amazing Grace. Mm. So I've been in Amazing Grace for years before God told me to move, actually. You know, so I think I stayed there for, if not a minimum of, over 20 years. We started from the onset and all of okay. that, you know. So I know some things. And, and Baba, when he was alive, mm. if you will relate with Baba, Baba was a very tough person. Tough. Mm. He's a ah. choleric to the core. Mm. If you are not calm, our, if you are not humble, was our president ah, in you, would, you, will, <laughs> you will just think that maybe God is just, maybe God is taking you through a whole lot. Mm. And that's how the generation of the Eli's and the Samuel mm. operates. Samuel's need Eli. Eli yeah, needs Eli Samuel. Samuel. Yeah. That's the reason why there must be a matrimony between these two generations. Because they, they have the vision. Mm -hmm. We, we have the strength and the energy. Mm -hmm. That was what happened in the days of Moses and Joshua. Mm -hmm. Moses was on the mountain lifting his hands. Mm -hmm. Check out those that were with him. They yeah. were Asian people yeah. like him to yeah, older yeah. people. But the he younger needed, generation, yeah. the Joshua's, we are the one fighting so, the yeah, battles. Yeah. You know, so when Moses' hands was, was growing yeah. low, day to day we are losing. So mm -hmm. we need ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's the simple truth. Mm -hmm. But it's just that for the younger ones, regardless of what you see always remember that you need them mm. yeah Baba, he, I, I learned so much from Baba Baba is a very tough person he can tell you that the Bakuro in church alone so for me your seven Lomawa and they will come truly because he was a prophet of God yes mm. he was a they will come one person lives out of annoyance you know they, that's the reason why Jesus said it that he said blessed are those who are not offended mm. there's no our offense will not come mm. that's the simple truth I've seen a lot I know what I've seen that's the same even in my little years on earth and in my little years in ministry because uh, the, the way that you will say 37 years I'm not even up to 37 I'm not even up to 37 you know and all of that but one of the things I've learned is that for the younger generations it demands patience mm. to work with the older generations and on the other way around for the older generations to you know they will just need to be a little bit calm to mm. embrace, embrace the younger the generation mm. because the younger generations they, many a times they are driven by their energy mm. 
Mm. But life is more than energy. Mm. Mm. Life, life is than ah, energy. You will get to a point in your life uh -uh. that you will know that ha, ah, there is a point you have the skills. I know what I'm saying uh -huh. by practicality mm. that you you have the skills, you have the anointing, but you need more than that. Mm. There are moments yeah. in my life that mm. when it happens like this, I know people I talk to. I believe in nation stream. Mm. All right, we can be saying grace, grace, grace. Mm. I believe in nation stream. There are people who will go and meet and say ah. <laughs> and you know they will just tell you what to do and all of that when mm. I go back again I will continue with my word of God it does not change yeah. anything you know but it's just that we need the older generations and the older generations also, also need the younger the generations in order to bring about a corporate manifestation of what God is about to do in these last days no um, I have been blessed well, I have been blessed as well <laughs> what can we what would we advise any viewer anyone that is at a point of maybe confusion, they don't know what God has really called, called them into. Um, they're in the church. Um, of course, leaders need them, and all of them come to morning service, come to mm. evening service, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and then uh, the, mm. the world reality mm. is also calling, and yeah. then you're there struggling mm. between the two, thinking. Mm. Um, am I doing the will of yeah. the Father or am I being swayed by the word no. that man shall not live by bread alone <laughs> or forgetting that we need the likes of yeah. Tui and, and all of those yeah. people mm. in, in CNS who are really helping um, the likes of Esther yes, you did yes, say something yeah. like their, 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 their power their yeah. influence is able to bring them into, into some yeah. positions of power where maybe most of us need to be yeah. <laughs> mm. um, how do we what advice do we have for people like that uh, for young people um, I'm very um, I'm, uh, should I say I'm business oriented I believe that you should work hard <laughs> 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 work and, and attain any eyes yeah. I, I, lo I love to see young people doing things but also burning, burning for, Christ for Christ at the yeah. same time yeah. how do we maintain this <laughs> balance <laughs> And what advice would you give to anyone who is struggling with their identity um, in Christ and what God has called okay. them? Um, first of all, I would like to say this, that when we check through scriptures, we realize that there's what they call the temple structure of, of the kingdom. And there's what they call the city-like structure of the kingdom also. The best the temple structure of the kingdom will raise is the generation of priests that will keep serving. Mm -hmm. But the best... Mm -hmm the city-like structure, which is Zion, we raise, will be kings and priests. So we are priests in the church, but we are kings in the world. Mm -hmm. That's how it operates. We are priests in the church, but we are kings, kings in, the in the world and all of that. So as regards balancing our royalty with our priesthood, it demands the intelligence and the technology of the wisdom of God, yes. that one must not suffer. Aha, uh -huh. John the Baptist said something. He said, you know, he, okay, Jesus was communicating about John the Baptist. He said he's a burning and a shining light. So when you born before the Father, you shine before the world. Mm. That's how it works. If your burning mm. ceases, your shining stops. Before the when your burning ceases, your shining stops. So God is interested in a generation of persons that can bring about a matrimony of this. But it's good that we understand that, you know, it's not just about... I say this with every sense of humility and politeness. It's not just about number of times we go to church, actually. Mm. What matters the most is our intimacy with Very God. Good. I've seen people that go to church, but they are void of intimacy. Mm. Just like Philip. The Bible says, Philip, Jesus was communicating to him. He said, he said, but he said you've been with me all this while, and you still don't know me. So we have a good number of persons that are 60 years. They will say, ah, oigbe, baba, emoje, moti, wambi, baiki, woto, debe, kilo, fe, bami. So it's not about the age. It's about the level of intimacy because the ranking systems in the kingdom are not structured by age. They are governed by intimacy. That's what counts a great deal. So you can see someone that is 60 years and you can see someone that is, you know, younger, much more younger. But in the real sense, the person understands the terminology of intimacy. So the place of wisdom grants you the ability for balance. They are people not not we can't fight it there are persons that god will tell that i'm calling you fully into the work of the ministry it does not make them lazy mm. a good number of them are sounding they are very very sound i know what i'm saying they are very very sound but and there are persons that god will allow 
to balance ministry. In short, some people, their ministry is in the business world. Mm. That's it. I'm a they're, testifier they're, to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a testifier. Uh, their, their ministry is in the political <laughs> sector. It's not about them coming to church. Yeah. So if we are now huh? trying to recalibrate their being by making them stay 24-7 in the church, yes. we will lose the them. ultimate plan of God mm. for that last day. You, never, you might not tell. You, might, you, you never can tell that even the person that you are making a word in, you know, 24-7 is meant to is meant to take the world system for God. It's meant to be a governor. I remember when I was in my previous church, there was a point in time, that's amazing grace, there was a point in time that there was a little boy, that boy was much more younger, and a friend of mine called me, he said, the Lord said this boy will be a governor. And what was he doing as a den? He was a, he was a warden. I'm not against being a warden, but beyond saying revelation, we mm. need a prophetic structure that has the ability to raise men. Hey. It's, it's not just a prophetic structure that can mm. tell people they are becoming. Prophecies are like architectural design. For instance, I can come to you and say, Mama, this is the template of this house I want to build up. If I remain at that template and I'm saying all I know is that template without making effort, mm. there would be no... So for mm. every word of the Lord, the word of the Lord is the speakings of what God has already uh, established in the realm of the spirit. But we have a responsibility to replicate it upon the sand of time. There is no word of the Lord that is void of personal responsibility. Mm. So when prophecy gives you the templates, the place of responsibility and wisdom grants you the intelligence on how to maximize it and guarantee the fulfillment of it. So that at age 60, they won't be telling you that Mm. Even at the point of death, they can still get Omologo, and that's the last aha. Uh -huh. Because what they are doing at that point in time is they are, they are reading from your scroll. Oh, the no. Bible says, Behold, I come as is written of me in the volume of books. Just like the wise men saw the star of Jesus. Mm. According to his star, he was a kingly, but there was a demand, mm. there was a need for growth. Mm. So the difference between the king in the manger and the king on the throne is simply timing and growth. Mm. That's how it operates. Jesus was a king, he was born as a king, but he never entered into royalty on until age 30. Mm -hmm. And that was the definite structure of growth. So, mm -hmm. beyond just coming to church and doing all of those things, God is raising a generation of persons that will understand that the dignity of the church is that we understand what God has called us for, we take the place of responsibility in it, and we manifest it in the world system. Mm -hmm. Thank you very yes, much, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. I don't know if Daddy, Daddy do you have a final any... word for maybe the elders uh, or the youths. And also, yeah. I want to encourage uh, if we have anyone here um, who has any question. Yeah. Um, please, it's your time to ask now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Daddy, your final word. Um, for to sir. me, yeah, transference of mantle. That's where I will come back to. Okay, sir. Uh, like I like we've been discussing. I want to just close it up with the fact that uh, the word church must be well understood yes, for us to know to know that it is not talking about the structural mm. uh, the presentation. Building. It's not the building per se. Mm. And when we are talking about transference of man to uh, I want to, uh, I, I, like Pastor said the other time, that the Holy Spirit, yes, it's good. Am I saying it's not good? No, it's good. Everybody must, every Christian, before you can call yourself a Christian, mm -hmm. you, must you, must, uh, you must be endued. I was telling a, a congregation, uh, the kind of spirit that operated in the Old Testament, <laughs> but that is not what we are operating now. We are operating about indwelling spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, in the days of, Eli uh, of, uh, of Elijah, of Isaiah, of Ezekiel, yes, and the spirit of the Lord come unto me, yeah. and the hands of the Lord laid upon me. Yes, which means Adabamimo can come and go again. But the kind of spirit we are talking about now is the inbuilt, indwelling, infilling. So, let us go a, a little above that. Let us take it. Let us take it for granted that we are talking to Christians now. Mm -hmm. Let's take it that we are talking mm -hmm. to Christians that are already endued, that are al already infilled. Yeah. When we are talking about mantuship, I said this sometimes. There is a difference between the ministry of Peter and ministry of Paul. Actually, even their targets 
are different. Mm. While Paul was called to the Gentiles, Peter was called to the Jews. Apostle Paul said this sometimes. And if you look at Pauline experience in life, we are ever eventuals into the Jews. Afaraka o Asha. The only time they, uh, they, they imprisoned Peter, it was when he went to the Gentiles. Because they, they, they already overstepped their bounds. Mm. So which means that to every called, we must know there is a, apart from, yes, you have been called, it is true. Mm. Okay, again, you have been called as a prophet or prophetess, good. Okay, you have been called as a pastor, an evangelist, an apostle, or a teacher, good, you know that, mm. fine. But one thing I tell people is, don't uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, because you will not be able to move. Yes. <laughs> Look for your size. <laughs> I mean, I don't know whether you are getting it. A lot of our youth these days, before you know it, they are already giving them a papa, uh, mama. Uh, you see, uh, I have one of my, I have one of my sons that that one day somebody was he, 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 he was in my office and and one of his uh, uh, ministry men, uh, papa, ah, uh -uh. she was not to the papa. Ni. He's like, I don't know that I'm ministry to the papa. papa. <laughs> so, and if, and you know what funny thing? His mentor, I mentored his He's mentor. mentor. <laughs> and now look at it, okay. Can I work for him now? Because definitely, somebody will want papa. Doctor, the papa. Doctor, to to mentor, we become papa. <laughs> the great grandpa. So, by the time I come to your ministry now, grandpa. I become great grandpapa. <laughs> and then, the, uh, offer I go to offer. Because Toto <laughs> can Christi. Toto <laughs> can Christi. Oh my, oh my, oh my <laughs> friend. So, what am I trying to say? Mm. And the Bible says, don't let anybody call you father. Because there is only one father. Mm. There's only one father. In place of honor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying they, they can call you pastor, they can call you geo, they can call you primate, they can call you anything. Because one thing is, when we are talking about having a mantle, like he said, having a mandate comes before having a mantle. You have your mandate. And it is when you manipulate, when you manifest in your mandate that you possess what you call mantle, mm. which you can transfer, which you can pass across. I consecrated a bishop, privately or not a uh, Methodist church. Mm. I consecrated a bishop some few years ago, I think about three, four years ago. This year that I went to his church, his harvest, when I took the, the uh, uh, pamphlet, I saw that he is now being an archbishop. Uh, hmm. Even me that I consecrated you, <laughs> I'm still a bishop. Even me that consecrated you as a bishop, I am still a bishop. Mm -hmm. And already, you that I consecrated, you are now archbishop. Grace mm -hmm. of speed. <laughs> <laughs> So I want to I want to <laughs> challenge I want to please <laughs> I want to please what we are doing in the kingdom is becoming something else <laughs> How long how long can you hold on to that <laughs> position like like I'm sorry to say this when they ask me to come and address the special apostles in our church in our church when they ask me to come and address I look at the special apostle but 200 and something, hmm. 300 and something special apostles that wants to go to Rilegma to come and become special apostles. I, I, now, I now ask them one question. I said, are we all 
going to become special apostle. They said yes. Then it, then then let us change that name to common apostle. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Come on. You, uh, I later, uh, <laughs> said something. He said our own time is different from <laughs> this time. Yes, it is true. In my own time, in my own time, there is only one special apostle. In the, in, the, in, 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 in the south, in the west, that is Baba Musa Domi. Hmm. When he is coming, he was based at uh, Oshogbo Ilani side. When he's coming to Lagos, Bobo, Central Choir, Lumbo, Wakon, Nisabo, because special apostle Mbo. Hmm. Cent oh, no, <coughs> anybody that is of my age in movement will be able to attest to this. Central choir, Lumbo wa konini sabo because Baba Musa do mimbo. Mm. And when he is coming, when he is coming, Bogbo a wong church leader si hemisphere, Loma kpesibe. And we look at him as special. Mm. And that is what you call special now. Mm. Now we have a small boy of 28 years. Mm. And he's saying <laughs> that he's special apostle. <laughs> <laughs> Good. We now have senior special. Mm, most senior. Now, hey, special. very soon. Uh, no, we have. We, we have, have most senior wow. now. We have yeah. And then, then later on, we have special special. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, no. Well, oh, you see. After what most senior is Babaladra. What am I? Mm. What am I? What am I trying to bring out? Our clear morning for for these mm. uh, 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 titles. I asked one of our mommies in uh, mommies in, in Unicast. I, I I I wanted to invite her to a program, and the old place that I ha I have to write is her name. It's so small, <laughs> uh, and I said, uh, "What do I put there?" He said, "I should, I should put general uh, 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 general Reverend Apostolic Mother Prophetess <laughs> Doctor." Uh, uh. <laughs> I like that. I, uh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. This is what you call the of Honestly, uh, General Reverend Apostolic Mother Prophetess Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, she later told me what to write. Gram. <laughs> Gram, Pro, uh, so General Reverend Apostolic Mother, yeah. Gram. Gram. Oh, you see. <laughs> so I now put Gram Pro Doctor. Wow. So you know all these titles. Are we are we taking it to heaven? No. Let let the youth, even we the Alagbas, Agbalagba. Like uh, they call us Arubu Abi, <laughs> old school. We should stream everything. We should stream it. God will bless us Amen. and be with this church. Amen. The thing about that title is that now people are being kind of forced to get titled because mm. you will see somebody that like is your younger, so someone that that you, is you very very trained. young. Yes. <laughs> and now he will now you. Uh, he will he now have to have to, have have to queue after after, yes. after you. So yes. when you are queuing in, they will give you food because that kind of thing will be different. You only have one protein, protein. Uh, uh, the other person uh, <laughs> four so, protein. So uh, you'll be like ah. Uh, uh, even though the Lord Jesus is most special, right? Because ah. <laughs> so, and, and then we are, we are, we are already You've bastardizing the thing. You left behind if you don't join the king. God will Glory help to us God. There is nowhere yeah. I get to with my little right reverend that anybody will know about. Mm. No, yes. no, it is not, yes. it is not the dignity tiring. in the something. But your, your own, your own presentation. Mm. Are, are you relevant? Mm. Pastor Sheye here can get anywhere. People that knows him, yes. Yes. people that had actually benefited from his ministry, yes. Mm. Yes. we stand up. Yes, without having to mm. wear a leaky. <laughs> <laughs> without without uh, wearing a yeah. leaky. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, oh, God. Man too. <laughs> yes, that's what you call man too <laughs> in those days. But thank God it was transferred. When when um, uh, 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 Elijah got the uh, uh, Elisha got the mantle of Elijah, he he did not transfer it by 
Mm, Are looking back again? Yeah, yeah. No. I think the 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 most notable disciple of Elisha was Gershi. Yeah, that's true, sir. If not, it's misbehavior. Mm. And when he was even when Elisha pronounced, that is when he turned to spirituality, not talking of the we are looking by again. So so please, I want to encourage our youth. It is not by the title. It is by the input of the work. And like I said, so many people are called into full time. Like I said, in our own case of consecration, you cannot do any other job. But yet, the, the fact that I cannot do any other work, I can still do the work of God and get money. What about my Bible school? Am I not getting money? Luther Cat is giving me money. Eh? Abi? I don't wait for tithe and offering. Mm. Baba Fakeye mm. of the Blessed Memory had six companies, mm. which he does, he, he, he did not even attend one. We are his work tools. Gabolu Fak is there, AEK is there. Well, he was the chief electrical engineer of Henry Stevens until he died. By the by 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 the word of Henry Fajemi Rokun, Chief Henry Fajemi Rokun says that Fakaya must be the chief electrical engineer mm -hmm. until he died. And that was what happened. And he was collecting his salary. The first 504 station um, the, the saloon that Baba will use was his official car from Henry, Henry Stephen. I personally went to drive it from Ilupeju to uh, Papa Show Expressway. That the fact that God called you doesn't make you, uh, you now start mixing uh, 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 no. No, no, because when you don't have a source of income, what would you be now? There is no how. My father will say, if you see somebody that is not working, call him a thief. If you now said, if you now say, what did I steal? What are you eating? <laughs> Good. Yes, now that's why I said if you are not standing for anything, you, you will fall for from many things. things. So God will bless all of us, Amen. even when you are called into full time ministry. Please be sure that your hands are doing something that is profitable. He told Isaiah, He said, I am Lord who teach you to profit. So our God is a God that teaches us to profit. May we not be found wanting Amen. in the Amen. days of end in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so Amen. much. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you to our daddies. Thank you Thank so God. much. They will be God. praying for us shortly. Yes. Um, but just to say thank you to all mm. our viewers. Again, this is Moments it's with Sarah, serious. and today's topic was mantle transference. I hope that you've learned a two or thing, mm -hmm. and I pray that the Holy Spirit ministers Amen. and divide his words inside of us. Amen. Until next time, I remain your humble self, Sarah Sprays, also known as <laughs> Esther Ayobami, <laughs> <laughs> and my co-host right here, AGY. AGY. <laughs> For all your events and all of that, please contact AGY. Um, thank you to the media crew, the studio. Very cute yeah. studio. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you, Toyo Bobo. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tosca Lifa. Tosca Lifa. And <laughs> Seraph <laughs> Stories, CNS Ambassador, all the people who stream us and who, who help us to propagate this gospel yeah. because we cannot do it alone. alone. Thank you. Um, we trust that you will share this. Mm -hmm. um, once it is live. Thank you again. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.